السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد respected teachers honorable judges and my beloved friends today I am here to talk on my relevant topic Islam between blasphemy and extremism tears blasphemy to begin with is this casting sacrilege and desecration towards the Almighty Allah and the, uh, and the apple of eyes of the whole Muslims, the beloved Prophet. And extremism is the ferocious retaliation towards any unpleasant task. Both these unwarranted torpedoes are strongly condemned by Islam. Islam unconditionally proscribes the Muslims from blasphemous engagements. The same Islam, although never promotes the extremism in the vengeance of blasphemy but also vehemently disaccord with it even as last resort the Islamic statute authentically adopts that the poster to the reaction of blasphemy should be with thorough patience outright tolerance appealing propagation and elegant behavior the Quran commanded the beloved Prophet to embrace patience when he was harshly slayed by the infidels and hypocrites, a sorcerer, insane, and a liar. Although these insults painfully aggrieved the Prophet, the Almighty Allah unconditionally prescribed the revenge and generously encouraged the patience through Quranic verse, Wasbir ala ma yakuluna wahajuruhum hajran jamila. Yes. Once, when the Prophet was engaged in an impartially distributing charity among the people, a man robbed him, as he did this without any sincere intention. Although this groundless defamation infuriated the Prophet, he remained patient and replied by saying that Musa salam, was disturbed more than this. Brothers in Islam, even in some menacing episodes where he was physically targeted by the rivals, the reaction of the Prophet was worthy of simulation, which had astonished the companions beyond imagination. The forbearance in these events enabled the Prophet to inculcate effortlessly the charming fundamental principles of peaceful vision of Islam and perception towards his enemies. When a Jewish woman entertained the Prophet and his companions through a poisoned meat, and the messenger discovered the betrayal with the divine help, the companions intended to take the revenge, but the absolute blessing of the whole universe extended his clemency and freed the women unharmed. During the historical conquest of Makkah, in spite of all the opportunities to retaliate his enemies, he let them go through his famous declaration, La tasrib alaykum al yawm id habu wantum tulaqa. Dears, from all these events and novel words, it is highly explicable that extremism has no room in Islamic doctrines. Moreover, Islam stringently rejected the all evil deeds, especially the extremism, as it doesn't fulfill any sublime goal of Islam, but results in tarnishing its holy symbols. In turn, the alarming threat of blasphemy should be treated with amicable and cordial heart-touching dealings. I don't prolong my speech. Here I conclude praying Almighty Allah for a peaceful atmosphere throughout the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.